Hello, Cornelians. How we doing? Good evening, my name is Chris Marshall. I'm the Associate Vice President for Alumni Affairs. Welcome back to Reunion 2012. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Corneliana Night. This is my fourth year on the job, but my fifth Corneliana Night. I arrived here in June of 2008. They shoved me out on the stage and said, go. I've been in the, right out of the big red frying pan into the big red fire and I've been loving it ever since. Corneliana Night has been a reunion tradition for decades, but this year is only the second time in history that people outside of Bailey Hall can participate in this wonderful evening. First, backed by popular demand, we've arranged for a video simulcast to the overflow audience across the street in Call Auditorium in Kennedy Hall. So let's turn around to the camera and wave hello to our folks across the street. I have no idea how many people are there yet, but we'll give you updates along the way. It may have been in vain. But I do know, I do know that this is the second year also that around the globe, we've been live streaming events throughout the weekend. This is one of eight. We're able to broadcast to literally thousands of alumni. So for those folks who are tuning in now via live stream, let's give them a big wave. Hello, live stream audience. So in, in addition to those alumni around the world that have been reminiscing virtually and celebrating reunion these past several days, we've been following posts on Facebook and Twitter and all those fun interactive sites that we have. And let me give you a couple of samples of some comments we received over the last couple of days. So via email, the first one came in. We've just finished our first live stream from Reunion and so enjoyed it. We are looking forward to another event, the other events today and tomorrow. For those of us so far away, what a wonderful way to join with alumni from around the world. That's from Gene and Howard Emery. They're watching tonight, Gene and Howard. How are you? This one was from Twitter, from Julie Bestry. Shout out to Julie, saw all your tweets. I'm on my third live stream this weekend, attending reunion virtually. Can't wait for Corneliana tonight. Let's also hi to Julie. <laughs> and here's a couple of fun ones from our Facebook. We have the Cornell Alumni Association Facebook page and we put pictures up throughout the weekend. And the following, one of our staff posted a photo of a hot truck lunch at, a, at about 10.30 this morning and said, too early? And Mark Weissman from the class of 88 wrote back, can you FedEx me, quote, a TMBC pep on garlic, G&G, and &G, H and H and onions? Yes. Is, that, is that English? Yes. All right. And then last night at the tents, two alumni posted photos of, of themselves with Bill Nye from the class of 77. 77 here? How about Bill, is Bill here? Hey, Bill, oh, stay standing. So, stand and chant for Bill. Not in my script. Um, so, so the following post, Bill, this is for you. I have a question for you, a, a, a scientific question. You ready? Uh, this is from Nate Beach, Westmoreland, class of 07. He wrote, Mr. Nye, is disco inferno endothermic or exothermic? <laughs> Exo? Exothermic. Exothermic. So you'll hear from Rob Rosenberg later tonight about the numbers for the, this reunion, but we had thousands other joining us for this fun. It really was a fun time, and we welcome everybody virtually uh, to participate in this reunion. You'll hear all the numbers shortly. But speaking of fun, has anybody heard about the couple that got engaged this reunion weekend? So Joe Sargent from the class of 06. Is Joe here? Joe is not here. Everyone who we call out, Bill, you were here, but Joe wasn't. Uh, but here's what happened. Uh, he. Uh, proposed to his fiance, Irena Gamble, and we did an interview with them today, and we posted it on the YouTube site of our, of our Facebook page for the Cornell Alumni Association. So, to my boss, Charlie Flager, where are you, Charlie? There you are, Charlie. We now officially have online engagement. Yeah. 
Shout out to my joke writer, Keith Hannon, on that one. Well done, Keith. A uh, quick question. Anybody here for the Michelle Reed talk yesterday? Okay. How about uh, for President Scorton's State of the University address? Now, President Scorton is a role model for me in his speaking ability. He is fantastic when he reads from his script, but he's amazing when he steps out on stage and what he calls mix it up with the audience. And, and, and there was a certain class. Yeah, there, there was a, anybody know what class by any chance? So they've asked me to make a peace offering. So on behalf of the class of 1982, so they can return here in 2017 for their uh, 35th reunion, they'd like you to accept this peace offering. <laughs> it's a double extra large, David. <laughs> so, so David, can we have him back in 2017 now? All right, right. And, and <laughs> David, there's no way in hell you're class of '82. Just so you know, so don't get too comfortable there. <laughs> All right. Now, turning to the musical part of our program, Corneliana Night is our unofficial close to reunion each year. But this year is a little more special because we come to the end of a chapter for a very prominent, important figure of Corneliana Night. We're saying farewell to our own Scott Tucker. After, <laughs> after 17 years of serving Cornell as the Priscilla E. Browning Director of Choral Music, Scott will be leaving us to take on a new challenge and lead the most, one of the most prestigious choirs in the country, the Choral Arts Society of Washington. There's a brief bio in your programs. Let me say this, that since 1995, Scott has inspired and mentored thousands of students and alumni with his passion for your music. Last night, in one of my many stops, I actually attended uh, reception that they had after the Glee Club concert where there are hundreds of former students there to honor Scott. And the Glee Club and choir traditions are strong at Cornell and these groups have over 200 alumni back here this weekend just from those groups. They, they, they performed last night. They're here on stage tonight largely due to the connection to music to each other and to Scott. And in addition to his role as a faculty member, Scott has served as the musical mastermind behind Corneliana Night for 17 years now, and sadly, this will be his last. So Scott, we thank you. We thank you. And we felt it only fitting, this was not in the rehearsal backstage, by the way. Yeah. We felt it only fitting that after all these years of providing music to us, that we'll provide music to you. So to make this happen, I'm gonna push Scott out of the way. I'm gonna take center stage, and everyone here is gonna need to help and sing along to something that's for you, Scott. Hold on one second. <laughs> Pretty quick, Mark.
you can tell I was a. Oh yeah. You can tell I was a competitive athlete and not a musical person. But so now it's time for some singing. Please join me in welcoming for the 17th and final time the Cornell University Chorus and Glee Club alumni, the Priscilla E. Browning Director of Choral Music, Professor Scott Tucker. Take it away, Scott. Thank you.
Good evening. I'm Rob Rosenberg from the class of 1988 and president of the Cornell Association of Class Officers, also known as CACO. I'm pleased to be here with everybody here in Bali, with those you know, over in Call Auditorium, and with so far the 121 people joining us by live stream tonight. Cornell reunions can't happen, they don't happen, without the work of many, many volunteers. So to kick things off, what we want to do is we want to ask everyone who has served on a 2012 reunion planning or campaign committee to please stand up. Or if, you, if you're married to one of these people and, you, and you've been dealing with all this big red stuff for months and months and months, we want you to stand up too because you get as much credit and we'd like to recognize you. So please stand up. I hope somebody over in Call Auditorium is keeping people honest over there too, and people are standing up and being recognized. Among the alumni who are back this year, there are some that have a unique status, and that's the alumni who are back for their very first Cornell reunion. So if you are attending your very first Cornell reunion, please stand up so we can recognize you. Now, as many of you know, on the opposite end of the spectrum, there is a group of alumni who never miss a reunion. They cannot get enough of this place. They are back every year. They are called the Continuous Reunion Club. And this year, they are celebrating their 106th anniversary of returning for reunion. So we're going to ask all CRC members to please stand up and be recognized. Yes, uh, Alumni from the professional schools also join us back on campus each year for reunion. So could you please help me welcome home our alumni from the Johnson School, the Law School, and the Vet College. We're, we're also pleased to, to announce that the Cornell Black Alumni Association, also known as SEBA, is joining us this year. They return every three years, and, and we're welcoming them back. Please join me in welcoming them. Now, it's my honor to note that among our alumni ranks, we have veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and many of the more recent international conflicts. So I'd like to ask all the veterans in attendance tonight to please stand up and be recognized. Alumni from all over are back this year for reunion. We have 47 states represented. Unless there are people here from Montana, South Dakota, and West Virginia. I'm from South Dakota, man. All right. All right. <laughs> Do, we have, got any, do we have any uh, West Virginia? All right. Well, if you know any. If you know any classmates that are from Montana or West Virginia, make sure they get their butts back in 2017 for reunion. Uh, we also have alumni back from, from many countries around the globe. So does anybody want to take a guess how many countries are represented tonight? All right. If, if you count the United States, no, New Jersey is not a country. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Neither is Ithaca. If you count the United States, there are 22 countries represented on campus. They are, in addition to the US, we have Australia, Belgium. Is that Australia or Belgium? We have Australia, Belgium, Bermuda, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, Hong Kong, India, Ireland, Israel, Japan, Kenya, Mexico, Philippines, Poland, Switzerland, Thailand, and the United Kingdom. Did I miss any countries? You're... Ithaca, yes. <laughs> Somebody shouted something, I didn't hear it. Okay. Italy, okay, Italy. All right, so we're up to 23. All right, at this time of the program, <clears throat> we like to pay tribute to our senior alumni classes, starting with the most recent graduates in that group. Celebrating their 55th reunion this year is the class of 1957 with 85 classmates. Would you please stand up and be recognized? Here for their 60th reunion, we have the class of 1952 with 126 classmates. Please stand up and be The class of 1947 is here celebrating its 65th reunion with 23 classmates. If you're here, please stand and be recognized. There we go, back there. And for their 70th reunion, we have the class of 1942 here with 11 classmates. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the 11 names out. We've got Virginia Poole Bauer, Glenn Bronson, Solomon Cook, Elizabeth Schlem Eddy, Evelyn Kasman Greenspan, Jay Lee Howell, James Kierman, Richard Allen Shotwell, Mir Sofar, Robert Ulrich, Connie Reed Wright. Please, please join me in, in congratulating them. For, for our 12th consecutive year, we are celebrating a 75th reunion class back at Cornell. And they have broken the 75th attendance record that was set in 2010. From the class of 1937, please join me in welcoming the following individuals. Esther Schiff Bondareff. of the names we have we have eight we have eight back from the 75th reunion class 1937 we have Esther we have Irving Friedman John Henderson John Huff George Lauman Barbara Keeney Mandigo um, Dr. Harvey Slayton Mary Claire Capewell Ward we can we get For anyone, who, for anyone who can't do the math, I want, we want to congratulate Esther, George, and all the others who have or are about to celebrate their 97th birthdays.
So now we have more music for you. I'm honored to welcome and introduce for the first time at Corneliana Night alumni who as students were members of one of the following gospel choirs. We have Pomogeny, How Excellent, Chosen Generation, and Baraka Kwa Wimbo. Joining them are also members of Ithaca's Cavalry Baptist Church, and they will be conducted by John W. Rawlings III from the class of 2006. we go. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. We are very, very excited to be here. We want to thank everyone who had a hand in inviting us back. Margaret Gallo, thank you so much um, for getting in contact with us. Um, as mentioned, these individuals who stand before you are just some, just a few of the hundreds of individuals um, who are part of either Pomogeny Gospel Choir, How Excellent Gospel Choir, Baraka Kwa Wimbo, All Female Gospel Acapella Group, or Chosen Generation Gospel Choir. And we also have members of Calvary Baptist Church singing with us because of their commitment to being a community outlet for us. So we're going to sing a couple songs for you, and we hope you all enjoy. Thank you again for having us. It's great to see all of you in here tonight. And um, feel free to clap along. If you know the song, feel free to sing as well. All right? All right.
Thank you to John and to our Cornell Gospel Group alumni for joining us tonight, reminding everyone that Cornell's tradition of gospel music is alive and well. So I'm now pleased to announce the results for reunion attendance and reunion campaigns. First attendance, as of seven o'clock tonight, a total of 4,658 alumni returned to campus this year. In total, if you combine alumni, family members, and friends registered for reunion 2012, that number grows to 6,673, creating the second highest Cornell reunion attendance ever. And I was told to let you know that when we took the count at seven o'clock, you were less than 100 behind the all-time record. So maybe by the end of the weekend, you, you may end up beating that record. So, uh, so hold tight, second is in bed. Okay, the, um, for individual records, um, the fifth reunion class, 2007, with, with 709 classmates returning this weekend has smashed the record. The record was set 15 years ago by the class of 1992, and nobody has touched it until now. So congratulations. Okay, turning to uh, campaigns. The 2012 reunion campaigns have raised $79.3 million from 6,461 reunion class members. So I was told people were gonna have problems processing a lot of numbers after nine o'clock at night. So, and we know that you're here for the singing, so to review more outstanding achievements, we've asked the Alumni Glee Club and Chorus to sing some of our fundraising results for you with a caveat that not all the details could be in there because otherwise it wouldn't rhyme. So if you want more detail, look at your program. Uh, otherwise, Scott, take it away. Everyone, everyone here at Bally, at Call, and the 142 people joining us by live stream tonight for celebrating alumni, parents, friends, students and faculty, staff, and many others who along the way become part of the Cornell family. Once again, the Alumni Cornell Glee Club and Chorus. Thank you.
I'm rejoicing tonight o'er her victories again, though I help not the triumph to gain. I will shout with my might for carnelian and white, and her honor forever maintain. Then here is a toast we will drink, a good rousing health to Cornell. Let your glasses clink, a good excuse I think, is a toast to her we all love so
Couple, couple observations. One, way too many people laughed at the marijuana joke. <laughs> Two, I ran over to Call Auditorium. Hello, people at Call. And I want you to know, yeah, let's say hi to everybody, that the camera puts on about 115 pounds. I'm a marathon runner. That's why I look this way. Um, I had one other joke and I'm losing. Oh, I know what it was. John. I should have watched John before I did my lame conducting because John was doing the stuff. And I was like, man, I was terrible. John, I should have cooked you. You should have gave me some lessons. So thank you all once again for being here for a wonderful evening. Everyone who participated in the program from McCall Auditorium to the 150 people online viewing us live stream, thank you all for being here. Thank you to Scott, Glee Club, and Chorus. Let's give them one more round of applause. Oh, of course. 
and John and your team, your gospel group, it was just amazing. Thank you. It was very special. Thanks, John. Thanks, Mark. So we are going to close the evening, close the evening with the evening song and the alma mater. Please join us. The words are in your program. <laughs>